So this is going to be a, a little bit of a change of pace. Uh, Legend of Castile is a point-and-click game. Uh, comic fantasy point-and-click adventure set in the historic Castile region of Spain in the 19th century follows a village girl who must investigate the region's folk legends to fulfill her dream of becoming a nun. And I made this joke when I was looking at the trailer. I'm like, she's not qualified if she's not a nun yet, I'm assuming. So why would you ask her to do this? But... It could just be that they don't think she's going to be a very good nun, so they give her a job that they know she's either going to um, die trying to perform <laughs> or uh, she's going to fail and then she's going to flunk out of nun school. Those are jokes, of course. But let's check it out. I think I can put my controller down for this one. Castile, Spain. 19th century. Do I have to do something? Uh, oh. Somewhere between Burgos and Segovia. Maria is late to her next destination. And the sun is going down. I'm glad to let this guy do some talking and give my throat a rest. <laughs> let me drink some water. Yeesh. Well, here I am, fulfilling my dream on a lousy road. The next village seems to be pretty far away. And the night is coming. Therefore, I need a shelter for tonight. Hey, perhaps that old lady knows a place where I could stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah, you could you could try. Hi. Good evening. Hi, little girl. Where are you going so late? Hmm. Who are you and what are you doing on this dirt road at sundown? I'm heading out to investigate the legend of Castile so I can become a nun. You wouldn't believe why. So I always like try to choose like how do I want to play this? A little bit of RPG element to it is what type of person is is um, Maria? Is she a no nonsense, doesn't really have much of a filter, just shoots from the hip, or is she just like very open and honest? I'm gonna go with who are you and what are you doing on this dirt road at sundown? Who are you and what are you doing on this dirt road at sundown? My name is Juana. I'm just passing through. Mm. I'm heading out to investigate the legends of Castile so I can become a nun. Oh, you wouldn't believe why. You want to become a nun? But you are way too young, little girl. Why would someone like you have such a dream? Hmm. Well, a few days ago, I was walking out with my friends and having fun. When I had an urge to go to the toilet, <laughs> I walked out of the wine cellar and I had a vision of the Virgin Mary. I saw the light. Are you sure that's what you saw? <laughs> uh, what else could that have been? After that, I went to the convent at Burgos. Were you drinking? And I met my future mother superior. Who told me that if I want to become a nun, oh. I'll have to investigate the magic creatures that have been appearing all around Castile and bring her proof of their existence. It's a rather strange quest, but I'm determined to do it so I can fulfill my dream. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but be careful through the paths, little girl. There are legends you wouldn't like to face. Tell me more. What is your name, little girl? Hmm. If you don't mind. Fakaria Gomez. Uh, you already told her what... Yeah. My name is Maria de Salazar, and I'm from Aranda de Duero, a, a town in the province of Burgos. Hmm. That is... That sounds like a native speaker. 
voice-wise, just because of the pronunciation of the name and the area. De Salazar. That's interesting, little girl. I think I've heard that somewhere before. Tell me more. I, I don't know. I highly doubt it. My family is very humble. Doesn't mean they always were. Could you please tell me where I could stay overnight? The sun is going down. Could you please tell me if the next village is far away? You already know it's not far away. You said that. Um, mm, eh, the sure. The sun is going down. Could you please tell me if the next village is far away? My little girl, the next village is a hundred miles away. You would do better to seek shelter for tonight. Could you please tell me where I could stay overnight? Hmm. Yes, child. That house behind you would be perfect for you. Oh. I didn't know if it'd be safe to get closer to the house. Thank you. Yes, it would. But please be careful with the surroundings. Why? Oh, we got more options. What do you know about the folk who lives there? Do you think he will host me? What danger? What's dangerous in these surroundings apart from the wolves at night? What's dangerous in these surroundings apart from the wolves at night? I keep forgetting I have to click. Tell of a legend that there was an Ojoranko in this area many years ago. What the hell's that? Ojoranko? Ojoranko? What's that? Sounds like something I'm not going to like. An Ojoranko is a kind of cyclops oh. that some folks say inhabits Segovia's woods. Huh. Yeah, let's oh, go with this option. That's interesting. Do you know what I can do if I face that creature? They say the only way to escape him is to attack his weak point. Kick him in the balls. Only I. Oh, well that too. Um, thank you, but I hope I don't need that tip. A monster cycle stuff. Okay, I have a little problem with this. So she said, oh, that's interesting. Do you know what I can do if I face that creature? Meaning that she believes it could exist. And then she's saying it's superstitious nonsense. A monster? A cyclops? I don't believe it, madam. That's superstitious nonsense. Incredulous girl. If mm -hmm. you don't believe me, look at the symbol in that road sign. About this signpost, I don't recognize this strange sign. We'll meet again soon enough. Oh, puff of smoke, <laughs> puff of smoke. Oh, not quite. Oh, heck. Where did she go? You didn't hear that? Here we go with the strange things. I'd better look for shelter before the wolves <laughs> come out. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. So, yeah, inventory, skip text. So, middle mouse button is our inventory, skip text, space, reveal hotspots, click on scene, choose action, eye, hand, mouth. Click and drop, examine item. Okay. All right, so. What's that symbol? Well, I'm sure it's an old sign. Nothing to worry about. Right? Right? Who are you talking to, lady? All right, uh, I don't think. What was it? Space for hotspots? Uh, go to the distance shack. All right, let's go. I didn't see anything else. Oh, what's this? Ah, shoot. Oh, that's our menu. Okay, and this is... Yeah, this is...
Sharpening stone. What's this? It sharpens things. Uh, let's take it. Tomatoes are not my favorite vegetable. Or are they a fruit? Well, I don't want tomatoes right now, thanks. <laughs> Can we eat them? Are you a tomato that gives three wishes? I don't know what I was thinking of. Fruits and vegetables don't grant wishes. Oh, wait. That's that's to talk. Or mouth. Okay. No, so mouth is for... Ugh. Okay. Never mind. Mexicovi is only five kilometers. Or is that where she came from? Ugh, I didn't pay attention. It's a downstairs window. It seems there's no one there. Okay. Well, there's someone upstairs. Stone seats. My grandmother's comments at Christmas dinner. <laughs> well, it's a bunch of warning signs. They're warning signs. I wonder what they warn of. Oh, it doesn't say. That's as far as we could go. Okay, let's uh, use the big door. Seems that whoever lives here is upstairs and can't hear me knocking. You could grab a tomato and throw it at the window. Or is there a rock we can throw? What's that? Oh, that was the spooky yet cozy looking house. We open the window. These bars look strong. I don't see how I could sneak through. Grab a tomato. Well earned, <laughs> well earned money, and sharpening stone. I suppose we could. Can we use this? Oh shit. <laughs> Oops. It seems that the stone broke the window. How clumsy I am. Well, that'll get somebody's attention. Hey. It seems there is now someone downstairs. No shit. Uh we kind of just committed vandalism. I'm sure they will hear me now. <laughs> oh boy. Maria, what are you doing? Home. Sorry about your window. Who's there? Good oh. evening, sir. Are you the vandal who broke my window with a stone? Yes, can I stay at your house tonight? It wasn't on purpose. I'm so sorry, but it's a life or death situation. I need to stay in your shack. An old lady I met on the road told me you could put me up for the night. Um, we're, we're going to be accountable. Yes, sir. It wasn't on purpose. I'm so sorry, but it's a life or death situation. I need to stay in your shack. Shack? Get out of here, punk. Hmm. That did not work. Well, if at first you don't succeed... Neg until you get what you want. Sir, you were very rude to close the door in my face like that. Have I already told you that I love your house? I promise that if you host me, I'll do the laundry. Yeah. I promise that if you host me, I'll do the laundry tomorrow. I'm sure you don't like my shack. Goodbye. You again, girl. I'll give you one more chance to show me some respect. But this is the last time. 
Have I already told you that I love your house? Hmm. That's better. Who are you and what do you want? Really? Okay. I'm a pre-novice, I'm not from here, and I need a place to spend the night. Let me stay at your house, please. I promise I won't bother you. I'm a pre-novice. Hmm. I'm not from here, and I need a place to spend the night. This is no place for God-fearing people. You'd better leave. Let me stay at your house, please. I promise I won't bother you. And what do I get out of this? Laundry. We already talked about this. <laughs> mm. Help you with any tasks you need. Help you with the grape harvest next month. Ooh, this is a good option because then if uh, he doesn't remember or I, I can just like not come back. But oh, we'll I'll be help nice. You with any tasks you need. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you could help me share my sheep. Sure. And I'll bring you breakfast in the morning, too. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'll host you. Follow me. Like, look at the height disparity between the two. That guy is huge. The next morning. Wait a minute. After eight hours of sleep. Have we seen this guy's face fully have i seen his eyes or perhaps his eye maybe he's the cyclops <laughs> there's the broken window jesus she is sawing wood mm. Just a couple more minutes, Bo. Get your ass up. Stand up and start doing what you said you were going to do. Okay, okay, I'm up. That's better. I could have slept all day. We got shit to do. Well, let's see what tasks <laughs> I have promised to do for the owner and then do them quickly so I can continue on my way. Hmm. Oh, now I remember. I promise to bring him breakfast and help him shear his sheep. So, I will need some breakfast, <laughs> an instrument for shearing, mm -hmm. a container for the wool, a basket of some kind. Let's get to work. So, shearing tool, a basket of some kind, and some breakfast. All right, let's get to work. Whoa, she looks really tiny here. Uh, it's broken glass from the window I broke yesterday. It was unintentional, I swear. I was there, lady. It wasn't unintentional. <laughs> Need one of these. I'm sick of washing myself with a bucket. Um, well, let's see what we got here. Pretty ugly teddy bear. Oh, look what we found. Giant pair of scissors. I'm sure they will do as a shearing tool. It's one less thing to do. Uh, still need to get some breakfast and a container for the wool. It's a plant that reminds me of my uncle Ramon with his strange hair. Portrait. Hmm. Doesn't look like... He doesn't look very good in this one. Should we make the bed? It's a very comfortable bed. Oh, no. We can't make the bed. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what else? Have I missed anything? One spot wise? Oh, yes. Souvenir from Segovia. What's this? It's a reproduction of a Roman aqueduct. All right. Is there anything else? I think we got everything. All right. Ooh, sword. Strange painting. 
I've seen this some symbol somewhere before. Yeah. I'm noticing a lot of like single eyeballs. And garlic. Take the garlic and separate it from its chain. It's a flint. My grandfather told me these can make fire if they're rubbed against metal. Sure, we're going to probably need that. Let's just take everything that's not nailed down. Can't take it with me. I don't want to anger the owner. Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to see if you could move it. Red cord from stairs. What's this? It's a very long red cord. I wonder if we pull it. I don't know why I should do that. I'll have to investigate the house a bit more. Can we go any further this way? Nope. Okay. Anything more? Let's go to the kitchen. Okay. What have we got? Well. Hang on a second. We've got... We've got a, a tub here that we could use for the wool. Super modern wood stove. The latest model of wood stove it needs wood to work. These stoves have not reached my village yet. So where is wood? Well, we've got a recipe. Let's look at this first. Should take a closer look. Ha! Huh, there's no Castilian kitchen without a useful recipe. Let's see what we have here. The definitive Castilian soup. Ingredients. Olive oil, garlic, water, stale bread, salt, and sweet paprika. Olive oil. Garlic we already have. Water, we have to find out where we can get that from. Stale bread. Salt, which is on the counter. And sweet paprika. Okay. What does it say down there? All, add all the ingredients in the order listed. And introduce all ingredients in the order listed in a pot on the fire until they are cooked. That seems easy. Olive oil. Okay. What's that? Is that something? Hmm. We're going to need salt. Can we do anything else in here? What's in here? Oh, well, we got a cooking pot. Anything else? No, it's empty. And that looked like paprika. Let's take that. We have everything? I think we're missing water. Oh, it's a Castilian painting. It's a painting of a girl treading grapes and some boys playing the Castilian dozena. I don't know what that is. It must be an instrument. It is quite beautiful. So where are we going to get water from? Super modern stove. Two, two, two. Yeah, nothing else in here. Okay. But we did have a basin. Ah, water jug. There we go. Hope it's useful. It's heavy. Now, does it actually have... Oh, shoot. Where's my inventory? Oh, no, no. I remember where it is. It's this guy. Okay, so it appears to be full of water. Let's go to the kitchen. And let's make some soup. So first thing we'll need is the pot. Um, How do I... Oh, okay. Pot is placed and you're ready to cook. Now, in order, we put in the olive oil. And to just get out of this, you just take it and you just drag it away. Use olive oil with big cooking pot. All right. And then water. It's important for a soup. Yes, it is. Okay, and then... Oh, shit! No, 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 I screwed up. 
Uh, I fucked it up. I, it's olive oil, then garlic. Uh, oh well. You know what? We'll see what happens. Well, it... I mean... I don't know what harm it could cause, really, because... Oh, where? I don't have the bread. Can we open this? Hmm. Okay. We gotta find bread. What's in here? Let's open it. It's locked. It's so old it doesn't look like it can be opened. Alright, let's go downstairs. What's weird is I can't I can't get any information about that sword. And it's pretty prominent. Ah, red. And this must be for him to eat out of. And basket will be useful for the wool. Now, let's have a look at this. Seems the owner has a small library. So yeah, at least a couple of books, of interesting books here. Oops. Ah! Anything that stands out? Manufacturing Homemade Tools by A. MacGyver. That's a little on the nose. Oh! Okay, a homemade lighter comprises a wick, a piece of flint, a chain to hold the flint, and a metal body. So we actually have two of those pieces. Possession of this item can cause a lust for power and the belief that we are servants of the secret fire. <laughs> Hmm. What else? Oh, I saw something else. Where was it? Sayings of Castile. I mean, you probably shouldn't be stealing if you want to be a nun, but whatever. What do I know? I don't know anything about being a nun. You want to ask this guy why he's got like a human skull here? It's a sculpture of a human skull, I hope. Can we take it? <laughs> no. All right, well, let's go back and finish this soup that I already screwed up. Where was we? Uh, we needed bread. Okay, and we needed some salt. And some paprika. Ah, yeah, the order of the ingredients wrong. I'd better start again. What? How do you do that? How do you unmix the ingredients? All right. I honestly, like, I, I really do legitimately want to know how you do that, because it's a useful superpower. Okay, it was olive oil, then garlic. What is it, buddy? Oh, we're almost done? Oh. Uh, where was we? Water. Oh, shoot, shoot, no. Okay, and then stale bread. Salt. And then paprika. She almost looks like a Disney character, doesn't she? Well, with this, I have all the ingredients in the pot. Hmm, 
Looks like there's something wrong with the sweet pepper can. That's not Paprika. Hi, Norman. What the fuck are you? Oh, I don't like this. We have come. Oh, this can't be happening. To spoil your morning. Well, you're not Paprika, so you've succeeded. Oh my god. What's going on? Who are these goblins? I don't think they're goblins. What the hell are they, though? are the ingredients the ingredients are scattered around the house again and have they changed why is there suddenly a glass of wine on that chair oh my god how am i going to make the recipe now is that really your biggest problem these a can of paprika just turned into three spooky looking goblins Um, <laughs> hello, little monster. What are you supposed to be? Hello, little monster. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? They call us little enemies. Uh-huh. Who sent you? What is your story? The story begins in Burgos. It was a cold winter night when a married couple... Oh, there he goes again. That's what I get for asking a story. The husband was about to go to bed, but his wife went first. While well, he stayed by the fireplace for a moment. Mm -hmm. That happened to my cousin, too. Later, it turned out that her husband was writing letters to other girls. <laughs> the husband noticed that there was a pot on the fireplace, and out of curiosity, he opened it. Then the man began to feel a stinging in his legs. Hmm. Of some invisible enemies. And that was you three, right? That's right. And that's how the story ends? It's a bit bland, isn't it? Of course the story ends like that. Damn human. Did you expect a happy ending? I don't believe you. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Uh... Very interesting, but I have more questions. Hey, what have you done with the ingredients? We have improved them. In the Guild of Enemies, we think that the original recipe is too simple. I'm sure this will help you learn the recipe. We did it for your own good. Damn little enemies. What did you say, human? A damn little enemies. Uh, nothing. Uh, I wonder if you are not a product of my imagination. Don't tell me you're the smart one. I have to go. The recipe's waiting for me. Let's see what I they say to this. If you are not a product of my imagination. If you want, I'll bite you so we can check. Nah, uh, I'm good. Mm, no, better not. It's just that I haven't eaten since yesterday. And maybe I'm having visions. This can't be true. If you keep talking nonsense, I might bite you anyway. <laughs> I have to go. The recipe is waiting for me. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Can these guys talk? My name is Maria. And who are you? Well, little enemies. Who sent you? Where did you come from? Your mistress locked us in this tiny jar of paprika. The witch? Your mistress? Who has such a thing? Our mistress is a witch. Ah. The most powerful in all of Castile. W what? A witch? <laughs> Do witches also exist? Yes. Well, I thought they were only in children's stories. <laughs> if witches and magic don't exist, what are we doing here? Hmm. That makes sense. Oops, I said too much. Forget I said that. And what is that? We are your worst nightmare. It's pronounced worst. Little human, don't get smart or you'll regret it. You'll never finish the improved recipe. Calm down, calm down, pretty little enemy. 
very... Have you seen any Oharankanos in the area? Oharanko? But don't worry. He will find you. Oh, boy. I don't believe they exist, actually. Little human looks confident. The graveyards are full of confident people. That's true. I'm not afraid. You probably should be. You're the fool. <laughs> you are the fool of the three, aren't you? Uh, you shut up, little joker. Or I'll bite you in places you don't even know the name of. Oops, I take it back. I take it back. You were so smart. That's better, little human. Actually, I'm very bad at cooking. Our mistress gave us the day off. So you stop oh. cooking, and we will laugh. <laughs> well, I have to go finish the recipe. Oh, you have a tough little human. All right, so um, where's the recipe? Okay, so this is still the same. With a water jug. It's hard to glow from being near to the paprika jar. That's weird. Enchanted water jug. It's a water jug, but hey, this is not water at all. It's oil. Oh, I see. And this is what? Another item that glows when picked up. What is it? It's a glass of red wine with a green glow. It's sure not a Ribera del Duero wine. Hmm. Green glow. Hmm. Okay. Thought maybe there might be something hidden in there. Can can you ask him? Ah, uh, let's go check around first. Oh wait. What? Vampire teeth. Okay. There's nothing in here, is there? No. But there is a hanging bottle of olive oil. Hmm. Snowball? What? In my town, we add salt and the snow melts. It's like magic. Okay, so what have we got? We've got paprika. We've got six glowing things. All right. All right. So... Let's, oops, my bad. So let's, ex it's a bottle of olive oil with a suspicious green glow. Wait a minute, it isn't oil, it's water. Okay, so the water is oil and the oil is water. So let's start with this, which is not water. Okay, so far so good. What about that? I'm guessing this is garlic. They are vampire teeth with a suspicious green glow. I wonder why vampires are afraid of garlic. Isn't it ridiculous? Okay. <laughs> Putting vampire teeth in a pot. Yes, you are. And yes, you are. Water. 
Well, the water is actually olive oil. Let me just double check. Suspicious green glow. Wait a minute. This isn't oil. It's water. All right. What's, which one's the bread? Is it, is it this? Oh. I don't know if it makes any sense, but in for a penny, in for a pound. All right, and then this wine, which is Oh, oh shoot. I'm guessing this is representative of the bread. And then this is... <laughs> what a cook. If that soup were a dog, it would bite you. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. All right, let's try this again. Water, which is olive oil. Vampire teeth, which is garlic. And then olive oil, which is secretly water. And then... I guess this is the bread. And this is the salt. And this is the actual paprika. Ah, nice. finished recipe yet. Um. Wait. What do you mean you haven't finished it? Burning enchanted sweet paprika. Oh, great. I wonder if I use it on them. Pot has started to burn with a green flame, but it is not hot. How strange. Wait a minute. It looks like now there's something written on the paprika pot. If you want to get rid of the little enemies, these verses in front of them you must pronounce. And the verses appear. And then the verses appear. Could this be true? So what do I do? Just apply this to... Hey! Damn leprechaun. Holy Chapel for me, sacrosanct. Little enemies, get out. Never return here again. But you... How do you know that? No! Another was done, right? All right. <laughs> Take that, little enemies. They left a little hats behind. Hey. Look, which means I have the first item from the Legends of Castile. Oh. As soon as I get out of here, I'll take it to Mother Superior. All right, yeah. All right, so what's the status of the soup? Seems the recipe is not finished yet. I can't pick it up. What? But I can't find a way to... Oh, I need wood. Shoot. Was there wood downstairs? Nah, there we go. I mean, you were 
were stealing books from his place, so... Now, there was... How to manufacture this, because I, I feel like I'm going to need this to actually start the stove. So we need a piece of flint, which we have. A chain, which we also have. A wick, which we don't, but we can look for candles. And a metal body. Hmm. Well, let's see what we've got in our inventory that comes close. Chain with flint. Okay. But we need a wick. So let's look for candles. There's one there. But it's currently lit. Half broken table leg. May need this metal leg. Oh, it's metal. Okay. So then we can combine that with that. What? I think I need to, I need something to join these two. Oh, okay. So we need to find a wick. Let's see. Any candles that aren't lit? Or can we use a... Oh, I can't interact with those. Is there one in the bedroom that we could use? Candle? No? Nope. Didn't see one. What about the kitchen? Um, no, I didn't see a candle. Okay, well, there's other rooms we haven't explored yet. Or wait, is there something to do with this? Can't take the whole cord. What if we cut off a bit of it? Need a longer piece. I'd better cut it from the stairs. Scissors. Right. I saw this in the trailer and I didn't understand what she was doing. Right, so we combine this with this. And this with this. There we go. We've got a homemade lighter. Maria MacGyver is her last name. All right. Let's open this up. Put it in the wood. Light it. It worked. Oh, single use. And she's done with the recipe. Long enough to cook Castilian soup later. <laughs> All right. Uh, some pot for him. Now this is a cassette. Oh better run and find the owner of the house so I can give it to him. So I can leave here as soon as possible and continue on my way. And where's he at? Here I go. Finally, I can fulfill my promise to the owner and continue on my way. Yep. Uh oh. Uh 
I had a feeling. What the f- <laughs> Alright. Cool. We made it to the end. That was alright. I kind of feel bad that I called that he was the, uh... <laughs> he was the Cyclops. Cause immediately when you find out that there's a Cyclops and then there's this big dude that she only comes up to, like, his waist... And you never actually see his eye. I'm like, oh, gotta be, gotta be him. Well, yeah. So long, everyone. I'll see you later.